Hey guys, this is Jonathan Montgomery. I recently had an appraisal done on a property that I own and it was funny because I'm the appraiser and I was wondering about this question that people often ask me, what can I actually say to the appraiser? That's a really good question. So let's dig into that right now. What I'd like you to do is subscribe to my channel. I really love when you guys are subscribing. I've been getting a lot of good feedback with these videos. And you know, as an appraiser, I see real estate, I have a different perspective. So, you know, we kind of see the back end, the behind the scenes view of real estate. We see a lot of cool stuff. It's like opening a treasure chest every time I go out there. And so I love sharing those experiences with you. So subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that way you'll know when my next video is gonna come out. So talking to the appraiser. So there's actually a couple of issues here and I wanna kind of discuss those. First, for me, if I'm at your house and I'm doing an appraisal, I really prefer that you don't talk to me while I am inspecting your house. Now, the reason for that is because it is so distracting. I'm trying to measure your house and occasionally I'll have a homeowner that will want to follow me around and they kind of want to chat and I don't keep them from doing that, but it's distracting, especially if the house is very complicated. And I can't tell you how many times I've actually gone to a house and I did the appraisal and then I forgot something. <laughs> so then I have to kind of go back I actually had one where this guy, man, he had a really cool collection. The homeowners, they had all kinds of sports memorabilia. Some of you guys actually probably saw that video, but I actually left the house and realized I did not measure the second story. So I had to go back to the house and remeasure. So again, it reminds me that if you're gonna be with me and, and we're doing an appraisal, please, just let me look at your house and then we can discuss whatever it is that you wanna share with me after I'm done. Now, what can you actually say to the appraiser? This is where it gets complicated. Feel free to talk to me about your house. Feel free to tell me what kind of updates, upgrades, or anything, any kind of work that you've done to your home that might help me understand the quality and the condition of your home. Those are good, okay? I wanna know that information. What I don't want you to do is try to influence me to a specific value. That's where we're running into gray area, especially if you are a real estate agent or a real estate professional and investor, that is very unethical. And we wanna to try to avoid that behavior. Now I know that agents, they will often have comps for me. That's fine, that's welcome. If you have comps that you'd like me to consider, Feel free to pass those to me. I have no problem with that. There's no issue there. But I'll tell you, there have been times where I've had homeowners really, really press me and say, I think this house is worth that. And when they do that, I will kind of give them a like, a, okay, all right, thank you. You know, kind of give them a pause. There have been some times where I've had to let them know, hey, you are really crossing the line here. I actually had a guy once, this gentleman tried to tell me that this door was signed by some Washington DC socialite back in the 1950s. And because of this door, the house was probably worth more because the door, <laughs> it was the door. That same homeowner also lied and said that he had a swimming pool in the report. I mean, he lied later on after I did the report. He said that he had a swimming pool. He had no swimming pool. So we hear all sorts of unethical things and all kinds of questionable comments from homeowners. So, you know, as appraisers, you'd be surprised the, the levels of influence that we are um, subjected to, but I don't want that to be you. We want to try to keep things above board. You know, we're not trying to be influenced in a negative way or in a positive way. We just want information and facts. So as you're talking to the appraiser, please just kind of keep it above board. Let's keep it ethical and make sure that we um, aren't trying to bias the appraiser one way or another. If I am doing a divorce appraisal, I often try to stay away from having in-depth conversations with the parties involved. Those easily can turn into personal <laughs> conversations and I prefer to stay away from that. I've had divorce appraisals where the husband and the wife are in the home and it gets really tense 
And I've had the husband say to me, hey, I want you to make the value this way. And I've had the wife say to me, hey, I want you to make the value that way. And of course, you can imagine one person has a preference over the other. So those are scenarios that get a little tricky, but we deal with them all the time. But anyway, nonetheless, that's just kind of a little bit about what you can do. Again, remember, let the appraiser get around the house. They can inspect it. Try not to be a distraction. And then all conversations should be ethical. There's nothing wrong with passing facts and information, but let's try to keep it at that. Anyway, until the next time, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.